Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have been blogging at chris.perlo.com since January 2002. And those archives are still there. You can find them. It's a different life. Um, of course, you know, years later, I've uh, you know, begun to participate in places outside my own blog. That's how I've gained such a following, really. You can find me on Twitter, twitter.com slash chrisperlo. I've mentioned it before. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll tweet, post something to Twitter, and I'll get tons of replies. And, and sometimes I get five replies, but they're five really good replies. And I wanted a way to extract those replies from Twitter to be able to post to my blog because I thought they were, you know, thoughtful or, you know, I wanted to, to share uh, what was said, you know, beyond, you know, the, the Twitter's walls. So uh, I tweeted uh, about 10 days ago that I was looking for a way to blog my Twitter replies. And Alex Zakovic, who's known as Who's the Man on Twitter, uh, approached me and he said, hey, is this what you're looking for? It's a rough prototype. I'm like, yes, that is. So for the past 10 days, I've been providing constant feedback. We've been working together over IM, email, and, and, and that's just about it, exchanging screenshots and, and, and concepts and ideas. And now I'm happy to say that Twiki has launched, twiki.perillo.com. Here it is. In fact, if it sounds familiar, uh, the namesake is you know kind of like Wicket, only it's Twiki, T-W-I-C-K-I-E, and the little icon, that's Wicket. I painted that. Well, I didn't paint it on the screen. That's just the icon of photo of the... anyway it is as far as i can tell the easiest way to archive a twitter response thread what does that mean okay i tweet something let's say and i have tweeted in the past using this tool i can extract those tweets from twitter much like these people have and just using this tool in the past couple of days uh, over on lewis gray's blog he's doing an example he's showing people hey this is a new uh, uh website he got all those responses for this particular tweet right here, pulled them out in text to post to his blog. So now he's got permanence on his blog. You can do this with MySpace or really any place that can take HTML. And I'll show you how to do it in a second. Uh, Robert Scoble did the same thing. Of course, he gets tons of All these responses here were happening on Twitter. I mean, look, let me zoom in. These responses were on Twitter. And he was able to use Twiki to pull them out and then post them to his blog. He's not the only one. You might know Buana of Buana.org or Buana.tv. These are the responses he pulled out of Twiki. These are the responses he got on Twitter. So he's bridging the gap. All these people actually are bridging the gap between Twitter and their blog, wherever you happen to be blogging. Uh, you don't need to install anything, okay? You don't even need to have a blog. If you want to follow the replies that you get for any particular tweet, you can use Twiki. So I'm going to log in here. You just pass it your Twitter credentials. Uh, we don't actually look at them. It's passed in an encrypted fashion directly to Twitter. Uh, the session is stored locally on your computer uh, in a cookie. We don't know who you are other than generic information because we used Google Analytics. So once you've logged in, you get the list of your 50 most recent posts or your 50 most recent tweets. So earlier, uh, I posted something about the death of Twitter due to auto-following system. I just press the get ats, there's two buttons there. But if I press this one, it will sort the responses in, as you hover over, oops, sorry, I moved my mouse, by newest first. The other one will sort responses by oldest first, so you have sorting options. So these are responses I got here uh, from, uh, from a few people uh, that uh, responded to that particular tweet. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to get a lot of responses. A lot of the tweets that I make don't get any responses at all, but then some of them do. I mean, especially when I'm asking a question or just passing along an interesting link. So here are your export options. You've got the ability to copy the HTML or copy the full. Now, what's the difference? HTML relies on CSS. Now, if you don't know anything about HTML or CSS, ignore those first two options. You want to copy full. That will copy in all the formatting so that it will look beautiful no matter where you post it. You have a MySpace page? Fine. Post it to your blog on your MySpace page. You can post it anywhere that you can paste HTML. That's all it is. And yes, don't worry, widgets are coming, which means it's going to be even easier for you to use. But now uh, you could use it to track uh, your own replies if you get a lot of replies, or maybe you don't, or maybe you know you got a lot of replies uh, for one particular tweet. You can follow that, uh, th that particular thread as well. In fact, let me see if I can find one that doesn't have any responses, because let me tell you, there are a few of my, oh, no, I guess uh, a couple people responded here.
they're not necessarily related because some people didn't reply directly to the tweet they meant to be replying to, but you know, this is better than what we had before, which was nothing. Um, you can switch searches uh, if you want. You can search by a, a tweet ID, which is the number that's at the end of any uh, tweet permalink or Twitter permalink, and then you can get the replies for that. Or if you want, you can search conversations. Now you can anybody can search conversations. Uh, you don't need to be logged in uh, to your account to to, to view conversations. Uh, you can view conversations anywhere. In fact, if I press get conversation from this sample tweet ID in a couple of seconds, it will go and it will retrieve the uh, uh, conversation thread, which was uh, between uh, Alex and I earlier. We needed a sample, so we were talking about our dogs. So we were going back and forth, back and forth, just to show people. If I ca if I copy and paste this link and send it to you on, on, the, on the chat room, you'd be able to see it. So you can try that if, if you want. So you can pick up on other people's conversations and yes, export those conversations as well. I've seen bloggers do this. What they'll do is they'll screen cap their replies. And it's just messy. It's like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just use like text? It's rich, you know? Well, because the option wasn't there. So uh, that is, is pretty much the, the bottom line, or at least a high level overview of Twiki. If you are on Twitter uh, and you do get responses, no matter if you get 100 responses uh, frequently or maybe you only get a few responses, maybe you only communicate with a few friends. Well, now, if you communicate with a few friends, you can still use this service. You can still extract those replies and take them elsewhere, post them to your blog. You can have entire conversations creating all this content on Twitter and be able to get to all of it and put it elsewhere, wherever else you exist on the web. I mean, I'm guessing that you guys have websites, right? I mean, domains are cheap. Websites are easy. Post uh, Twitter threads to your uh, to your uh, websites, your blogs, wherever. Doesn't really matter. Does not matter at all. Of course, you know, posting your website in the chat room is kind of considered spamming. I I don't don't really condone that. But but yeah, just try it. Let me know what you think. Twiki dot perillo dot com. There's how you spell it again. Twiki, and yes, that's wicked. We do have twiki.com as well as the uh, Twiki user on Twitter. So no squatting will be going on. Uh, yeah, so far, we've, we've only like let people know about it um, tonight. And so far, the response has been pretty good. Some people are like, well, I don't get the idea. I'm like, I don't get a lot of replies. Well, if you hit a quote-unquote error page on Twiki, we say, well, if you don't get a lot of replies, then maybe what you're tweeting is not that interesting. Or maybe you need to participate more. Maybe you need to follow more people. Okay, I mean, we're trying to help. I mean, there's only so much we can do, right? I mean, we can't give you replies. We can only give you a way to get those replies out of Twitter. It's a power tool, not just for geeks. I mean, if you're into Twitter at all, you're going to like it. Well, at least I hope you're going to like it. Worth a shot. I needed it, and I'm going to use it. So that's that's that makes me happy. And if anybody else is happy, great. Awesome. My email address is chris at perillo.com. As I said, you can follow me on Twitter at Chris Perillo. And you know that you can follow us on Geeks as well if you want. Uh, you can even copy and paste the uh, full HTML into Geeks. That's fine too um, because it's HTML. You can paste HTML uh, over on geeks.perillo.com. So there you go. If you don't have a blog, you can get a blog there. That's easy. You can post it on your profile, a blog there, forum threads. It doesn't really matter. Give it a shot. I'd be really interested in what you think. So uh, feel free to pass it along, uh, any resource that I happen to mention. Then you're also welcome to stop by the chat room, uh, which is typically Talking Tech, 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed. It's always on at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.